What do you think it is that's so special about you, Jimmy and James? I mean, obviously there's something very magical there after decades, and now you're putting out some of your greatest work together, the biggest tours. Yeah. You know, um, Rick Rubin said when James came back to the band and we did that first thing with Rick, he said, um, James softens your metal, meaning I'm more of a riffer and James has a way of kind of creating a psychedelia over the top. As soon as James came back, it was like, oh yeah, there's that thing, yeah. that weird thing that happens. It's the way we play together. Where did that start? In the bedroom that my dad used to deal drugs out of. James and I learn how to play this particular way together. And that's the way we both play. So when he's standing there, we automatically go into that thing. Jimmy, I mean, are you kidding me? Jimmy came in, you know, on a early summer's day, stonewashed jeans, pink t-shirt, mullet haircut, yellow <laughs> drum kit, driving a 280Z. And the three goths in us looked and thought, oh my God, what is this? And he's just some guy with a mullet and the other two band members are trying to get rid of him. And I'm like, I don't think we're going to find this again yes. in Chicago, much less LA. Like I knew enough. And my father, the last part of the story, my father saw us play one of the early gigs and he said, I don't care what you do with the other two. Don't lose the fucking drummer. Wow. Whatever you do, do not lose the drummer. That was my father's way of saying, if you're going to get anywhere in this life, you better hang on to that guy by his ankles. Mm -hmm. 